Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I just tried to record this video and it didn't work, so we're gonna jump through to this, but it's gonna be quick and snappy for you guys, and that's probably preferable for you, right? So let's just jump straight into this with some Bitcoin analysis. If we are checking this out, we can see the liquidation heat map right here. This is clearly just market makers, all right? Uh, they've, they've put these walls up and they're essentially enticing the dumb money to put orders around that or keep their liquidations just outside of this range because these guys can convince themselves that uh, this range is never going to break, right? But we know that's not the case, and we know these market makers will just take their orders off uh, when they are about to absolutely obliterate the rest of the market. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But overall, it does look like we have potential to pump here today. Uh, there's a few little pieces of evidence and uh, pieces of data that I want to talk to you guys about uh, to kind of support that. But let's start off with the longer term here. We can see that on the daily, we are just testing this very crucial resistance line. We couldn't get over it or stay over it yesterday. Uh, and we did actually have a wicking scenario. We did also do what I said we were trying to do, which was absorb this wick towards the other side. Not as much as I'd like here. This should have probably come down to 62 and it still might by the end of today to absorb the rest of this wick. But uh, overall, I would say this is good enough so far where we could potentially see a breakout scenario happening very soon. And that breakout scenario is essentially from about 63.8 upwards. But on the shorter term, um, yeah, there are a few trades here as well. So we can see that uh, on the shorter term, that uh, yeah, we, we have 60 about 65k here for an entry. And that would be above our breakdown point, it would be above this trend line, and <clears throat> it would be above the 200 EMA on the four hour. These are two, uh, these are three very massive criteria that you should be looking at in terms of uh, things that could stop us breaking out, right? So if we get over all of those, it's a great sign and we can start targeting a beautiful long trade for about two and a half percent here off of this uh, this beautiful symmetrical triangle. If we do break down here instead after this monstrous upwards wave, right, uh, then there is a trade towards the downside as well. And this is a very easy one. You can be a little bit more cautious with this one as well. So if we do break down below this low here, right, uh, we can essentially aim for an entry on a short at about 60,600 and then look to trade that for roughly 1% down to the volume weighted ATR bands, okay? Uh, these are the average true range weighted by volume. They are fantastic for finding supports and resistances. Uh, and they are areas we do like to test a lot as well. So uh, yeah, definitely a key area to watch for a take profit, if not a closing of your trade. But uh, that's roughly it. So 600 down to 60k. Okay, and then the trade towards the upside from about 65k up to 66.5. Uh, and that could be fantastic. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about here is the uh, the state of volatility and volume right now. We can see that uh, at, just generally, as we have just started uh, a new four hour candle, right? We can see that generally this volume is absolutely ridiculously low right now, okay? Uh, if we compare it to previous times here, we rarely get below this point. And when we do, obviously this was the bear market. We were coming out the bear market there. So uh, yeah, volume is super low, particularly for the last few months anyway. I would be expecting this to break out towards the upside anyway. If you don't really understand this, guys, let me just explain. So these are the moving averages of volume. What you want for a breakout to be occurring is this blue one to be above the yellow and red ones. Very, very simple. That means that the smaller moving average uh, is going up right? It means volume is generally increasing over time, okay? Uh, so yes, fantastic to see this on the four hour. It means we could get a monstrous move very, very soon. And again, this doesn't really dictate direction, okay? So what this will do is potentially show you when uh, a move is starting with that volume increasing, okay? And then you can use your own TA to find direction yourself, which is obviously why we, uh, we have these plotted in. So if we get that volume come through, then we know the move is starting and we can take advantage of it, right? Uh, but but right now, yes, currently at the lows, super compressed right now. Also, this histogram you've probably been looking at, like, what the heck is this? Uh, this is volatility. When volatility is super low, like you can see it was here, okay? Um, and yeah, it's 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 at twenty percent right now, so it's pretty low. Okay, uh, when it is around these levels, we can expect big moves to begin. So uh, yeah, I would say Bitcoin right now 
very, very close to a move. We'll just have to watch and wait and see. But uh, yeah, generally the trades we're looking for here, as I said, 65 up to about 66.5 and then 60,600 down to about 60K. Very, very easy. Okay, the bigger trades, as you guys know, if we get above about 73K, it's time and we're banging it. Okay, we're banging it all the way up to about 80K. And this I can say pretty confidently. All right, towards the downside, another 10% trade if it is a breaking down scenario because we are inside this bull market barrier and you guys know the drill right when we're when we're inside the bull market barrier it's the time to be cautious but also in a bull run we rarely even touch it and if we do touch it we begin a bear market okay so uh yeah just be careful of course we have tapped it before all right and bounced off of it but we haven't really done anything uh like we're doing now right what we're doing now is essentially just grinding through it oh i don't know what i've done here essentially just grinding through it as you can see. So there is a chance that this does break down further and we do enter a bit of a crypto winter before uh, just oscillating probably between this structural line here, okay, from the bottoms of our run uh, and then uh, essentially grinding through and breaking out towards the end of the year. Uh, that's the, the bearish scenario. As of right now, we are at the crossroads. So this could recover fairly easily, but it could also absolutely obliterate towards the downside. And you have to be prepared for that when we are in these kind of zones, okay? Okay. As well as that, if we do check out some of the on-chain here, we can see hash rate trying to recover here, but uh, there's moving averages still red, no long signal yet. I will let you guys know uh, in the uh, in the Patreon, the free Patreon, if you follow my Patreon for free, I will let you guys know when this goes long. Okay, so feel free to check that out. And uh, yeah, this is essentially one of the best indicators here in crypto, right? You can see the last long here was at 30K, banged it all the way up to 60, all right? Uh, and then we have these smaller trades that we're looking for as well. So short term, we're looking for trades. Long term, we're looking for trades. But I want to talk about some on-chain here right now. Okay, uh, before we do... Oh, no, we talked about this already, didn't we? But uh, yeah, these market makers are behaving very, very disgustingly right now. Just just eating up everyone's liquidations. Uh, if we are looking at the uh, energy value here, 74.8. Okay, 74.8. Is that right? 78.4? No, 74.8. Yeah. So 74.8. And you guys know the drill. If we get above this bad boy, we just go monstrously moon. We, we go monstrously moon mode. Okay? Monster moon mode. This is insane. Okay? This is probably one of the best things I've seen in terms of a chart and, and dictating when we go parabolic. So fantastic stuff over the eight years. Uh, finding this 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 run is, is great. Okay? This is, this is great. Uh, besides that, uh, we talked about this previously. I'm, I'm not going to get into it, but... Uh, well, okay, yeah, it's still orange. If you missed yesterday's yesterday's video, it's still orange. So, uh, yeah, it's it's still cautious. Still cautious. We're not green again yet. Uh, on chain actually looks terrible. Really, really bad here. If we go to all, you can see it's all the way down here. Okay, that's bad. It's bad. This is probably one of the worst uh, little bits of data we can see here, the most bearish. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's getting any better. So yeah, just keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that because that's that's a really really bearish sign here. I've lost my uh, I've lost my inflows. There we go. Yeah. So uh, previously in other videos, guys, uh, I have been talking about the BTF, the BTF. <laughs> I guess you could call it that, the Bitcoin ETF here. Um, but I've been doing the on-chain inflows. Let's let's bring this to the spot inflows instead. Uh, I think it's going to be a, li a little bit more accurate here. But we can see, yeah, uh, from on the 28th, we did get 73 mil inflows. Before that, 11. Before that, 20. Okay, and then 30. So, uh, yeah. Not too bad. People are kind of getting back in, but still, yes, very, very cautious uh, from the institutions right now. They don't really know what's going to happen, so they are being cautious with their investments. Some of them withdrawing, some of them banging it in, looking for that dip, right? <laughs> but uh, I mean, look, it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad here. It looks like it's recovering. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Besides that, that's probably going to be it from me, guys. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Again, uh, we did just do our updates here in the Patreon, as you can see there. And um, yeah, we did a f nice, big, free um, little little newsletter. And this is for you free followers on Patreon, right? So those of you that follow me for free on there, right? No credit card needed. You just press follow. You can see that, uh, yeah, I've, I've put some data up here. We've put a nice little essay for you guys when I woke up. And uh, yeah, and then after that, we have our paid signals above, okay? If you if you do want these paid um, trade setups that we, we give out every single day, it's only 10 bucks a month and you get a lot of other stuff as well. You get entries into giveaways, 
all right uh you get lots of private stuff in the discord that i'm not really going to talk about because it's kind of secret uh, and then you also get 50 percent discount on education courses as well and you can actually get the courses for cheaper just by purchasing these for a month anyway right so this one's 70 percent discount on all of our courses on the new money network site uh, this one is actually 85 percent discount which is huge and then the biggest one gives you a hundred percent discount on all of the education courses including the crypto masterclass right um sorry not all of the education courses only the crypto masterclass um but you also get all of the uh, i'm just knocking stuff over <laughs> i'm not well guys i don't know if you could tell uh, but yeah you also get all of the um all of the indicators as well. So feel free to check this out if you do want to help support the channel. Uh, and if you do also want a, a free ebook that I spent hours on, um, just showing, essentially breaking down my strategy for this run with all the altcoin picks that I'm looking for. Okay, gives a little description on all the altcoins. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice out there. So if you, if you want to check that out, feel free. If not, absolutely fine. Free content here every day for you guys. That's what I do it for. I want to teach. I want, I want you guys to make money. And then uh, I get the dopamine hit. Of course, when you guys come back to me and say, Hamilton, I made so much money. And I'm like, you're welcome, bro. It's good. It's good. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. Yeah, have a fantastic day, guys.